Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into your January 2021 love reading. So right off the bat, we have the strength card Aries. You know, you're remaining strong in regards to love here. Could be dealing with the Leo, but you know, with your dating life, a lot of you feel like, you know, you have um, bad luck, bad misfortune when it comes to love. And you're just remaining strong and living your life. Meanwhile, you are this person that's going through a major tire moment. We have six major arcanas on the board with these six cards. We have the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups in reverse. So you're disappointed and feel dissatisfied when it comes to love. This could also be, you know, you're in your Aries energy with the Emperor here, following your intuition, trying to figure out for the month of January, like, what gives. I'm tired of feeling disappointed, emotionally depleted by unavailable people that... I am dating here. The Empress energy is in reverse. So Spirit is saying to just be um, mindful of your thoughts and take care of yourself. You know, we, we all have our, um, you know, we go throughout the day, we're driving, we're in a car, we're watching TV and just a negative thought comes up, you know, because it's just angry from not, um, you know, finding the one is what I'm getting for you, Aries. So just keep in mind, you know, embrace this divine feminine energy, this empress energy. You know, you are really in your masculine energy right now is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, keep being in that energy because you are going to be successful. But when it comes to love, just remember to take care of yourself for some of you, all right? We have the tire moment clarified with the star in reverse. So your person or you are just feeling hopeless and disappointment. And it's like all this disappointment just... You know, came out of nowhere. It's like, I, I'm just angry. There's a lot of anger that I'm feeling. It's either you or them. Take it how it resonates, Aries. We have the moon in reverse. Could be dealing with a Pisces with your empress in reverse. So we had a full moon in Cancer um, on a Monday, guys. So a lot of emotions are heightened. The truth is coming out. And it's kind of, you know, creating tire moments across the board for all 12 signs. But you, you could be dealing with the Libra or, or have Libra in your chart. They see the illusions for what it is. You know, things are coming out that they are trying to finally realize, like, damn, like, I didn't take care of, the, of Aries how I should have, or I didn't give them that much attention how I should have. And they're following their intuition with you on their minds here because they feel disappointed too. And, you know, without you, they feel incomplete. You guys are marrying each other here, Aries. And the passion was there. You know, this Ace of Wands was upright um, at one point in your relationship and now it's in reverse. You know, this Nine of Cups was upright, mostly satisfied, you know, going out, drinking, having fun with your person and now it's in reverse. So for some of you, it's kind of like, what the hell happened to us, you know, for the month of January? And it's going to be, again, with this tower moment, a major shock. Clarify the tower. Yeah. Because it has just a lot of just arguments, miscommunication issues. Because, again, the love is there. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. It's kind of like you're stuck on the past and how much, you know, the passion and the fun that you guys had um, when you first started dating or seeing each other. And it's like you're constantly going back to that. If you guys aren't talking completely broken up from at the dream, they're trying to watch you. But, you know, they feel like you're slick with, their, with your words, Aries. So... If you're on this page of source energy, I'm sorry, you know, <laughs> they're scared to come at you here. And it's like, I feel like they are and they know that this is going to be a tire moment because they don't know how you're going to respond to them. But they want to talk about how much they love you here. It could be dealing with a Gemini. But man, these major arcanas are popping out here. So yeah. And again, that's why I was saying that, you know, it's very interesting to just take care of yourself. Be in that Queen of Cups energy here, you know, because you... You're going to get that emotional um, love that you want, emotional maturity, you know? Clarify the star here with this Aquarius energy. Yeah. They feel like you have your guard up and, and they're panicking. They're panicking. Why? Because they want a new beginning with you that's long term. You know, they don't want to play no games anymore. They want to take the leap of faith with the four card and just start anew. Because they're still passionate about you. They're still holding this wine here with the king of wands energy or this could just be you blocking this person you know you're they disappointed you way too much aries and it's like now you're taking your leap of faith and starting a new beginning on your own without them here to find your soulmate connection for the month of january and if you are um doing this aries you are gonna find success in this as well we have the moon in reverse clarified with the star so a lot of thinking a lot of shifting that the universe is trying to do to get you happiness here when it comes to love you know this Aquarius or leo they're really trying to figure out how 
to mend this breakup that you guys had with the Nine of Cups energy because you still bring light to their lives. You know, they feel this connection just as much as you do, especially if you're dealing with a twin flame energy. They miss you. They love you with this King of Cups energy. It's, it's like now they're trying to emotionally mature while you guys are separated or Aries for month of January. You're going to have to take a step back. So this person can mature. This breakup is going to have to happen here. Clarify the Empress. Yeah, it's kind of like that thing where, you know, I don't want to say thing, but cliche is like we have to separate so we can figure ourselves out and then come back together when we're ready. But the passion is there. They love you. and They're going to take action for the ones, you know, that you have them block Aries. They're, they, they regret not pursuing you more. You know, and a lot of them could have just been buried in work here, you know, and this is how the passion, the emotional love fizzled out and they realize this now and they're taking action because they feel you pulling away. The higher frame refers if you're dealing with the Taurus or Libra here. So I say Emperor here. All right. That's just, <laughs> I'll take it. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. So strong Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy if you are dealing with one they feel like you don't trust them if you're dealing with the um virgo you know you could feel like aries that they isolate themselves this is what virgos do they go into hermit mode when they don't when they're stuck on how to communicate here right <laughs> because they're trying to become unstuck with the eight of swords being in reverse so they completely isolate themselves um it could be dealing with a divine feminine if you're the divine masculine watching this aries uh who's a virgo all right, the high priestess. Yeah, you're going, you know, following your intuition. You want to have fun. You want this fun, this happiness, this love again. It's like, I feel like you or them are going to come towards each other and just try to work this out with the lover's card because we have the world coming up. So a new cycle is coming in for you guys. I mean, this, with our negative energy, this is, is going away here. You know, yeah, I feel like this person just didn't, know how to communicate on an emotional level and this could have just been dealing with childhood trauma issues that they had you know with their parents growing up or family members here where they struggled to communicate or take action on how they feel and now they realize this because you're not speaking to them for some of you Aries you have uh completely like just stopped talking to them ghosted them and you know they they want you they want this look at this king of wands holding this wand I mean they are thinking about you in some less ways too yeah power this disappointment, I'm telling you, this disappointment is causing them to go in panic mode. You know, they realize how emotionally cold they were. Yeah, like I said, for some of them, they were just focusing on money, which caused you to leave Aries. And now it's like, you know, I should have listened. And it's like, I should have, would have, could have. So for some of you Aries, you're not going to take this person back with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, you're going to take this leap of faith and get this love that you want here. And again, I feel like this is more so for the Twin Flames, you know. They don't want to let you go with the Four of Pentacles flying out. You know, they're thinking about this, how for some they took advantage of you, you know, focusing on other people, taking care of other people here. And it's kind of like, well, what have I done? So they're really struggling here, Aries. All right, let's take some Romance Angel cards, because wow. <laughs> they're in panic mode. They're really trying to figure out how to speak to you. And it's like they're really trying to put in the work too, you know? We have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then we have patience to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you with this codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. And that's probably why we saw that tower moment in reverse. So this could also be why you have your guard up because this person could have codependency addiction issues. And it's like you just want to move forward and take this leap of faith here. Um, we have trust the situation is calling for you to have faith if you are dealing with a twin flame situation here. All right, let's get some love oracles. Anything else for my Aries for the month? Okay. <laughs> Stop in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. We have camera, and this is, could also be why you're paying attention to the red flags. Reminiscing, keep safe, perception, learn from the past, make memories. Yeah, and this is where that reminiscing is coming from with that Six of Cups in reverse. And we have separation. Yeah, sadness, missing you, thinking of you, yearning, unsure of future. 
Then we have Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. So how you and this person come forward, you may change your mind because temperance is here to try to balance things out for you. You know, if you're single, leaving this person behind or giving this person another chance, just know that temperance is here. Um, and take that leap of faith, Aries, because I feel like you're going to have a lot of success in regards to love and career in the month of January, all right? Please let me know if this resonated. I'm going to stop here. If you guys like the book of personal reading with me, please go to my website below. Thank you.